Hello everyone and welcome to the Quincy Youth Arena for QA TV's coverage of high school hockey. Tonight we're going to be fe featuring the Quincy High School Presidents versus the North Quincy High School Red Raiders. My name is Jonathan Clary and I'm being joined by Jim Mullaney and Jim Warren for another exciting game between these two teams. Oh, without a doubt. Last time they met a 3-2 win for North Quincy. They'd desperately love to get their record above 500. With uh, one more win they'll do it. And Quincy, they certainly want to even up the series with their rivals from across town. Definitely. All right, we're going to go down to the ice right now for team announcements, and we'll be back for play-by-play -play after that.
Okay, you just heard the uh, seniors and some other members of the North Quincy High School hockey team uh, bringing flowers over to their parents. Uh, so a nice gesture there by the Red Raiders. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, North Quincy is going to try to get over the 500 mark here tonight. They come in tonight's game at a record of 6-6-2. Six, six and two. And in the ACL North, uh, they're in 3-4-1 and one for a record. Quincy has had a tough luck season so far. They come in with a record of 1-12-1. And, and in the ACL North, they are 1-8-0. and zero. Uh, So we want to see if we can have some good action here. Uh, last time these, teams two, these two teams met, uh, North Quincy came out on top by a score of 3-2, to two, and it was a great game. Quincy made a late run, and they just couldn't come up on top and tie that with that extra goal. Uh, so we'll see what happens here tonight. Um, Jim, North Quincy, Quincy games, they're always fantastic no matter what the sport, and the intensity is always at a very high level when these team, two teams' schools meet. Excuse me. It, it's true. There's a lot of pride for both schools. Uh, they always want to come away with a win. And against each other, these are kids that have played together through Quincy Youth Hockey and other leagues so that they, they're opponents, but they're also friends. So it always makes for an interesting night. Definitely. There's a lot at stake, a lot of pride. All right, down to the ice now as we get ready for our first face-off here of the night. We'll be playing 15-minute periods here at the Quincy Youth Arena. You can see everyone coming out to the ice here. North Quincy is led by their captains, tri-captains, Paul Graham, Andrew Donovan, and Pat Casper. Uh, for Qu North, excuse me, for Quincy High School, uh, Matt Giordani and Ed Lara are on the captains there. All right, both teams are on the ice. Taking the face off for Quincy, it looks like number five, Matt Giordani, and Paul Graham, number 11 for North. We're pausing on the way here. We're still waiting for the rest of the North Quincy players to get back on the ice. Uh, they were going off the ice to give flowers to their uh, mothers. And uh, they had to actually leave the ice surface uh, to do that. All right, everyone's back onto the bench now. We're getting ready to be underway. And North wins the faceoff, and they're at center ice. Quincy controls it now. North dumps it into the Quincy zone. Quincy attempts to clear it out. Already hard hitting down on the ice there. Leone t swings behind his net and is kicked back in there. North now has it behind the goal and they dump it in front oh. and it almost a shot there. And it was a shot, excuse me. Uh, Steven Maggio put it right in front of the net and it looked like it hit the side of the net and Bo Craig made the save. Back down the other way now. Quincy rushes the ice and it's get held up there. And they put a shot on goal as well and that's saved by North Quincy goalie, um, looked like that was uh, Frank, Frank Sorrento. Sorrento. All right, down in the corner now. Dumped back in by Quincy. The only dumps it back in behind the ice down there is Ted Walsh. And looks like North has it and they're trying to clear it, unable to do so. Quincy pushes it back in. And it's cleared out now by North Quincy. And North has a man down ice and getting broken up nicely there. Uh, that looked like that was Mike McKean breaking up the play. Right down the boards now. And North, Quincy, excuse me, is able to control it and clear it out of the zone. North brings it into center ice and it's coming up the ice there now and... Dumping it back in for North Quincy was Pat Casper putting in a little, just getting some pressure on the goalie there, Bo Craig for Quincy High. They both seem to be moving the puck well up and down the ice, so uh, it is getting physical like you said already. They are bumping each other off the puck, so. Right, face off is controlled by North Quincy and shot put on goal over there by Casper, which is wide of the net. All right, in front of the goal. Quincy's able to clear, but it's dumped back in now. Jimmy Fitzpatrick was able to dump it back in. Quincy clears it back out again, and it goes down the end of the ice. Icing's waved off. And North controls it now, trying to get it out. And Quincy's able to push it back in. Nice pressure there by Quincy High School. Again, heavy hitting here early in this game. 12.45 left here in the first period. Right, tied up in the corner, Quincy's able to clear it out, and the shot was unable to get to the goalie. It was blocked. North now rushes down the ice, and it's broken up there by Steve Graham. 
North now has it back down there, and Matt Haskins has it for North. Clears it up the boards, and it gets out of the blue line, so it's North clears it. North now has it up there. Joe McKean, Josh McKean, excuse me, has it, and he tries to get up ice, and he does into the zone, and he can't do anything with it. Quincy clears. North's trying to get some action going here, and they get their offense going, unable to do so. A lot of centerized plays so far here. And Quincy clears it out of their zone down the ice. And nice break up there by Mike Gibbons to steal the pass. And he's able to dump it in, but couldn't get too much around. Around the boards, excuse me, the puck goes. And North gets it out. And it's intercepted at center ice there. Big hit at center ice there by North Quincy High School's Chris Tufo. And rushing the ice now is North. And you see the puck went on goal. There was a shot there, but it looked like Bo Craig was able to save it. Bit of a large pile up to push the, pi the uh, net off the stick. Uh, excuse me, off the post. So we're going to have a whistle here while they straighten everything out. Matt Haskins came down and was rushing the puck for North Quincy along the left side. And he came in and got a nice pressure on the goalie. Uh, but didn't have a lot of oomph on that shot there, and they're going to have a face-off now on the left circle. All right, Quincy controls the face-off, and it's into the, behind the net now. Behind the net, Jimmy Fitzpatrick for North. Nice defense there by Quincy High School's Ed Lara. And Quincy clears the zone, and ice, no, icing. no icing. Icing was waved off. Quincy continues to pressure down in the north zone. And kept in there by Ed Lara on the left side. North has the puck behind their own net. And unable to clear it. And a slap shot taken. Big shot there by G Matt Giordani. But a save by the North Quincy goalie, Frank Sorrento. All right, puck is cleared. And Quincy's just going to flip it back in. And actually they don't. It was pushed right back out. Quincy has it, and another shot on goal there by Casey Conley. And the puck just trickles out, and Quincy's going to have to clear the zone. And dumping it back in is Quincy High School. And behind the net it goes. Quincy able to keep it in, and no pressure so far, though. And North able to clear it back out. A little high sticking there. 10.09 in the first period, we're still scoreless here at Quincy Youth Arena. So far, it has been a fast-paced game, uh, but it hasn't been too, too much action in each zone. Um, they've been dumping in and chasing, but they haven't been able to get too much of an offense going. Each team with three shots early so far. All right, getting ready for the face-off, and North controls it. Yeah, but Quincy's able to steal and clear it out. Matt Giordani dumps it into the zone. Behind the net it goes, and it's out. North Quincy rushes the puck into the zone. Uh, Paul Graham was rushing. It looked like he got tripped up there by Mike McPherson. Puck still in the Quincy zone. North has it, and no one was over on the left side there by the blue line. Coming up to, for the puck, though, it was Matt Haskins, and he puts it on goal and saved there by Bo Craig. All right, Quincy now has control and they clear the zone out. And we're gonna have a whistle. And it looks like we might have matching penalties. And we do for Quincy High School going into the box is Ted Walsh. And I missed the number there. Steven Maggio going in for uh, North Quincy. A little collision on the boards and uh, Carried on a little bit too long for the refs liking. All right, Quincy controls the faceoff. And it's going to go all the way down, and icing is waved off. It looked like they might have called it, but they waved it off at the last second. All right, Quincy is just able to get it out, but North dumps it back in. They're going to clear the zone before they can come back in. Steve Graham has it behind the net. And he gets it back there. And it's intercepted there in the middle of the ice, in the zone, excuse me, by North Quincy's Josh McKean. 
Quincy now comes up the other side. And it's in center right still. And along the boards, the puck is stuck, and North Quincy has it. You can see a couple people there, and here comes McKean again for North, bringing the puck in. Quincy clears it out. Well, it's going to reset. And they dump it back in. Graham passes out. And up the ice now is McKean. McKean has it, and he's rushing in and doesn't put a shot on goal. Nice defense there by North Quincy. And it looks like they're able to clear it out. North rushes down the net. Jimmy Fitzpatrick has it, passes it into, uh, looked like there was a save there, and it was. Passed it into Andrew Donovan for the shot. All right, Quincy now has control, and they're rushing up the net. Mike McPherson has it, and he dumps it in. Around the boards it goes, and into the corner. A big check there by North Quincy is Chris Tufo. And the puck comes out of the zone. North is going to change up, and Quincy does too. All right, North forechecking nicely and keeping the puck in the Quincy zone, and Quincy just gets it out. And North's going to dump it right back in. North continues to pressure Quincy in their own zone. And we have a whistle. And looks like we have an offsides call on North Quincy. 7-10 left here in the period, still scoreless. All right, and Quincy wins the faceoff, but and they control it and down into the north zone. Kenny Pately, Pately, excuse me, controls it for north and gets around. He has it back again behind the net. And he is checked there by Ted Walsh. And North now brings it back out. And it's going to have a one-on-one -on -one here. North's rushing. And bro broken up nicely there by Quincy High School's Mike Leone. Rushing the puck there was Captain Paul Graham for North Quincy. And he just couldn't get a shot off. Neither offense has been able to really click here. The defense has been stepping up, stopping the full momentum. Uh, they're moving the puck back and forth, but just never getting anything really going solidly on the offense. All right, another face-off to the left of Bo Craig. And it is controlled by North. Dumped in the zone, and Quincy's going to be able to clear it out. McPherson clears it, and he was looking up ice for Anthony Gilbody, but he couldn't do it. Uh, another whistle. And I didn't catch the call there, but it looks like it might have been an offside call. Offsides. All right, face-off will be at center ice. North controls. And they dump it in. And it goes to Craig, and he's going to be forced to put a glove on it, and the whistle blows. 6-16 left in the first period. Face off to the right of Craig now. And Quincy controls. Behind the net the puck is. Fitzpatrick tries to get it in front and is unable to do so, broken up. North still has it behind the net and now they bring it out. Quincy now has it. Bring it up now there by number 17. McKean brings it up and it is broken up there by North Quincy's Andrew Donovan and he clears the zone. Donovan comes back up, and he's rushing, and he's going to put a shot on goal. And actually, no, he doesn't put a shot on goal. Couldn't get it off. It was broken up there by Jonathan Conso. So Quincy now comes the other way, and Steve Grams is going to dump it in so both teams can change up. 5.30 left, and taking a shot there for Quincy was Mike Gibbons, but it looked like he fanned on it. Couldn't get enough stick on it. Quincy keeps it in the zone, though. North trying to clear, and they're able to do so. 
McKean bringing it up for North Quincy. He has a man in the middle, and he passes it, but no good. Got a shot on goal there, but unable to do so. The puck is still loose, and Quincy finally is able to clear. A couple of nice chances there for North Quincy, but they're unable to capitalize. All right, pressuring is Quincy High School. Mike Gibbons up there for giving some pressure. Big hit there by Ed Lara for Quincy High School to keep the puck in the zone, but North is able to trickle it out and clear. Quincy's looking up ice and just got kind of tied up in his skates there was Quincy High School's Casey Conley couldn't get across the line. North Quincy now has it center ice crossing the blue line. Chris Tufo has it looking for some help. Nice stick handling there by Tufo and he crosses the ice. Tufo back in underneath now, and in front of the net, Whoa. and a goal there by Paul Graham for North Quincy High School. He had a pass in there, and looked like Steve Maggio dumped it in front there, and um, all alone in front of the net was Paul Graham. The last two times down the ice, North has been able to keep some pressure on the goalie. Uh, Bo's been doing a great job so far, but this time, just too much pressure by the North offense. And actually, they're going to wave it off. I'm sorry. They're going to wave it off. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the call was. It looked like they, they might have said the uh, net came off its moorings, but it looked like a good goal. But they say no goal. So that could come back, and we'll see what happens here in the end of the game. Uh, but Paul Graham gets no credit for the goal. All right, North has it at center ice. And can't get a shot off. Shot was blocked by McKean. Looks like he might have hurt his foot uh, when he blocked it, and he is trying to get back to the bench. All right, North now has it in their zone. And crossing the red line. Controlled there by Ray Marchand. North has it behind the net, and they try to bring it on the boards. Unable to do so. Right behind the net, the puck is and four or five people battling for it and can't get a shot off and North is unable to clear, kept in there by Marshawn. So Quincy still having some nice pressure here and North finally clears and we'll have an icing call. 3.10 left in the first period. Um, getting back to that last play down here on the other side of the ice there, Jim. Uh, great play there, looked like by Steve Maggio to dump it in front of the net uh, for Paul Graham, but it looked like the net came off his moorings just before he scored the goal. It was either that or I think Paul, uh, Maggio might have been inside the crease at the time. So it was a bang bang play there and no goal. All right, another icing call and hustling down there was Andrew Donovan for North Quincy and it looked like he had the Quincy man beat, but they still call icing. <laughs> All right, so the faceoff will be now to the right of Frank Sorrento, the junior goalie for the Red Raiders. North controls the puck off the faceoff, but it stays in the zone. And they're able to clear, and a man up ice now for North Quincy. He's going to have all alone. Andrew Donovan takes a shot on goal, and it's a save by Bo Craig. Nice job there. All right, now Quincy now comes down the other side. Matthew Udani takes a slap shot in just high of the net. So Quincy's putting some pressure right back on now. 2.30 left here in the period. Puck now tied up in the corner there. Quincy's able to get it out. And it looked like a bad pass there that couldn't be controlled. And North takes advantage and he clears it out of the zone. North and Quincy will both change up here with 2.15 left to go. All right, North intercepts the puck and it's going to dump back in so they can get on sides. On sides now and they come back in. And they have it. Controlling the puck is Paul Graham behind the net. And it gets broken up there nicely by Quincy High School. Looks like breaking up that was Mike McPherson on the last play. And Quincy now has it. Ray Marshawn dumps it into the zone. Chasing over there is Matt Haskins for the Red Raiders. Battling in the corner there for the puck, and it looks like it just clears it, and it does. So Quincy's unable to bring it back up. 
All right, Quincy dumps it back in now, and the puck goes behind the net. Joe Ferris there. He goes across ice, and able to control it there. Quickly was Graham, but he just lost it on when he got checked. So Quincy rushes back in now to the north zone. 117 left here to play in the period. Shot goes in front of the net, and just across. No one's in front there to tip it in for Quincy. And Quincy now has the puck behind net, controlled by Casey Connolly. Puck goes, excuse me, shot goes wide of the net. And North clears the zone. Under a minute now to play. Quincy dumps it back in by Jonathan Conso. And Quincy can't get a shot off though. Puck still behind the North Quincy High School net. And Quincy North tries to clear, unable to do so. And coming up now for North Quincy, they're going to dump it in and put a shot on goal just to get some pressure on there. McKean's in there as well as Pat Casper. And Quincy's able to clear and a little nice pressure there by the Red Raiders. 20 seconds now left to go in the period. Still, scored at, uh, still tied at zero, excuse me. All right, Quincy had an opportunity, but it went through the legs of a player and they couldn't control the puck. North comes down the other side now into the zone. Fitzpatrick has it, and he loses it. Quincy now has the puck at center of ice, and they dump it in. And that's going to be the end of the period here. Uh, so at the end of one period of play, uh, we have a scoreless game. Um, so far, Jim, there's been a lot of action here, um, here at Quincy Youth Arena. We had one goal disallowed. It looked like you were right that there was a, um, someone in the crease, uh, so the goal was disallowed. Um, real quick, Quincy looks like they have four shots. North has a lot more shots. They have eight, so they've been able to double up so far. Uh, also controlling the face-offs. North has seven face-offs. Quincy has five. They've both been playing very well, and again, it's a hard-hitting game, and I think that's why the offenses really haven't been able to get clicking. The defense has been stepping up for both teams. Uh, both of them are able to clear, get it into the other end, end but uh, it's just too hard to get it out of the corner on both these defenses. So. All right, so, so far a good game. Lots of defense and a little offensive action here as well. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back here at Quincy Youth Arena for second period action after this. Welcome back to the Quincy Youth Arena for QATV's coverage of high school hockey between the Quincy High School Presidents and the North Quincy High School Raiders. My name's Jonathan Clary, being joined by Jim Mullaney. And Jim, um, we had a couple of shots in the first period, nothing too huge, one goal was disallowed, but there wasn't too much offensive action in either zone. All right, I think you're gonna find that uh, they'll come out gunning now. I'm sure both coaches were a little disappointed in the offense, but the, both of them had to be happy the way the defensive movement was playing, so. I expect to see a lot more shots taken, and hopefully they'll get a little more, more offense action, uh, action going. All right, faceoff is controlled by Quincy, and going right oh. in, and we're going to have a penalty right off the bat there. And that looked like it might have been a good penalty there. Uh, coming in quickly there was Matt Giordani. He won the faceoff for Quincy, and he had a complete wide open ice in front of him. And we're going to have a hooking call on North Quincy High School's Matt Haskins. He came flying right in off the face-off, and it was, really looked like it was going to be a good scoring opportunity for the Presidents. All right, so the 
Faceoff is going to be to the left of uh, Frank Sorrento. North controls that faceoff. So first power play of the night here for Quincy High School. We'll see what they can do. All right, North's able to clear it. Nice job there by Jimmy Fitzpatrick on the ice, on his stomach, was able to clear it out of the zone. Quincy dumps it back in, and North gets it right back out. One minute left now here on the power play for Quincy High School. So far, no shots. Quincy still looking to get into the zone here, and they aren't able to do so close that time, but broken up at the blue line. Right, Quincy has it. All right, in deep in the zone now is Giordani. And behind the net now, the puck goes, and couldn't get a shot off there. Um, behind the net for Quincy High School. Looked like that was uh, Mike McKean. Uh, North was looking for a penalty there just down the other side of the ice, but they didn't get one. Uh, Quincy brings the puck in, controlled there by Ted Walsh. He dumps it back off now for McKean. And North controls it and gets it out of the zone there. And it's cleared out there by uh, Paul Graham, excuse me. Quincy now has it, and they're going to bring it back in and still can't control and still stays in and North finally is able to clear and that's going to be in the power play so zero, zero shots on the power play nice job there by North Quincy alright puck goes back in now to the North zone being chased there by Mike McPherson and also Kenny Payton Patey, excuse me and Puck just goes out of the zone, so Quincy is able to clear. North, excuse me, is able to clear. Puck goes across center ice. He's leading charge now is Pat Casper, and he throws it in the, into the middle of the ice, but no one's there for his own team. Shot goes on net now, and nice save there by Bo Craig. Puck now is to the left of Craig, and Quincy is able to clear. And nice job there. Looked like by number 12 for Quincy High School, Ted Walsh to clear it out of the zone. Quincy's going to change up quickly. Still in the zone, kept in there by Quincy High School. And North finally gets it out. Cross center ice. Andrew Donovan is in front of the net and can't get a shot off. Stick got lifted up off the ice at the last second. And puck goes out of bounds now, and we're going to have a faceoff. I think you're seeing the forwards really going into those corners a little bit harder, something they weren't doing in the first period. All right, so the faceoff will be in the Quincy zone. Control by Quincy. And North dumps it right back into the zone now. Puck goes behind that around the boards. Mike Leoning in there for the presence and able to clear it out now. Is number 13 for the presence. We don't have his number on our roster, unfortunately. But 13 did a nice job there to clear it out. All right, North's going to try to start their offense. And they were looking up the middle there for Bobby Newcomb, but puck was broken up there nicely. All right, North's going to reset again. And Quincy's able to keep it in there. Nice job there by Ed Lara to dump it back in behind the net. Quincy has it around the net, it goes. And looking to take a shot. Casey Conley pats it off, and a nice shot there at the, from the, uh, by the blue line by Quincy High School. And it just went off the, to the side of the net, though. Kept in by Giordani with a shot on goal. North still having trouble to get it out. Quincy's able to keep it in, and they continue to do so. And looked like the puck might have gone across the line, but not. Giordani with a nice move to get by and can't get a shot off there. Nice defense there by Joe Ferris to create a little interference there against Giordani so he couldn't get a shot off. All right, puck goes around the boards and it finally clears, but we're going to have an icing call. So 10.46 left here in the second period, still tied at zero. Pace has certainly picked up here in the beginning of the second period. As you mentioned, Jim, um, before the period started, both coaches probably going to go th full throttle and try to get an early goal, and Quincy had a nice opportunity in the beginning, but un unable to capitalize. Okay. 
Nice shot goes wide of the net. Quincy has it behind the net though. Mike McPherson un unable to make anything happen. Played out nicely by Kenny Patey. Patey's gonna dump it in for North. Yeah, big check there in the corner. North's trying to make something happen. Going towards the center of the ice there, and this is kind of sitting there by itself. Looked like Chris Tufo was not trying to take a shot, but just couldn't get his stick on the ice. Nice defense there by the Presidents. All right, North's trying to get their offense started and having a little trouble to get it cleared. Still in their own zone. And puck goes to center right now. Paul Graham has it. And puck gets broken out there by McKean. McKean dumps it in for the Presidents. Puck now still in the zone, being kept in there by number 13 for the presence. Nice job by him. Joe Sweeney has it. He centers it and broken up there by Graham. And leading the charge now the other way is Tufo. He has Graham to his right. And Tufo's just going to dump it in. And North's going to change. Joe Sweeney behind the net for the presence, trying to clear it out, unable to do so. And now it is broken up there by the presence at the blue line. Got a penalty here. Let's we'll see what the call is. No scene is a slash. Yep, we're going to have a slashing penalty here. Nice heads up play by Sorrento to begin coming off the ice to try and get the extra man on. And Quincy controls the face off. North on the power play for the first time tonight. Puck gets dumped back into the zone so Quincy is able to clear, kill a few seconds off this power play. Quincy again with some nice forward checking up and delaying, some, delaying the time. Nice collision there at center ice. Going into the middle of the net there for North Quincy. Uh, trying to get, make something happen there was Graham, but he just couldn't make it. Uh, North's going to try to reset and get their offense going, get the puck into the Quincy zone. Big check there by Jonathan Caruso. Conso, excuse me. All right, again, North is able to clear, and they're going to try to change up real quick. All right, so the president's change. 39 seconds left on the power play for North. Leading the rush is Matt Haskins for the Red Raiders, but he's unable to bring it across the blue line. Right, coming across now is Graham for North Quincy, and the shot is deflected there by Mike McPherson. 20 seconds on the power play now. Centering pass by North is no good by Graham, and it was intercepted by Quincy. Right in front of the net now is Pat Casper, but he couldn't get a shot off. So Quincy's so far doing a nice job. Six seconds on the power play now. Behind the net now for North. The power play is now officially over, but the shot goes, and it's in. Looked like there by number 17, Matt Haskins took a shot from the corner, and it goes in uh, just as the power play expired. Uh, Matt Haskins had a nice shot right from the blue line. Uh, big crowd in front of the net. I don't think uh, Bo Craig even had a chance to see where it was coming from. He was being screened by everyone in that play. All right, so North gets on the board first here with 7.41 left in the second period. All right, puck now in the Quincy zone. Quincy's going to try to look to tie this game up again. So far, Quincy's doing some nice pressuring after the goal. McPherson in the zone there for Quincy and unable to control. Uh, North had a quick breakaway attempt by Ed, uh, excuse me, by Nash Winters, but he's unable to do anything with it. All right, Chris Tufo, and he's trying to cross the center rice, but he's broken up there by McPherson. And shot on goal there was no good, saved by uh, Bo Cray. All right, Quinn is able to clear the zone now. And almost broken up there at center rice by McKean. Good 
Quincy trying to dump it in, unable to do so. And finally puck crosses the blue line. North controls, however. Giordani keeps it in. Puck goes up in the air, and North is just able to clear. Quincy no, could not keep it in. All right, North is going to dump it in, and we'll have an icing call with 6.19 left here in the second period. Again, North on top by a score of 1 to nothing. Both teams are playing much more aggressively and uh, getting the puck down the other end. Uh, Quincy has played absolutely superbly, I think, on offense this, this time. And you can't fault either defense. They've played great. They've gotten to both. Both have played shot-handed and, and made sure that virtually no shots were taken. All right, North wins a faceoff, but Quincy's able to keep it in. Behind the net now for the Presidents goes Ted Walsh, and he's unable to get find an open man by the blue line. North now rushes up, but it's broken up there by the presence at center ice. Nice job there by Jonathan Conso to break it up. All right, North now has it. They cross the blue line. Tufo has it, trying to look to make something happen. And it is broken up there by the presence in the corner. Unable to clear. Giordani has it, and he is able to clear. He finds a man down ice. He finds Ted Walsh. Ted Walsh rushing, and he puts a shot on goal, but unable to get in there. Nice save there by Sorrento. So Sorrento has stepped up to the plate here and made a couple nice saves here, here in the second period. Back down the other end of the ice now, and North shot went wide of the net. All right, North clears, and it's at center ice. Quincy controls it on their own blue line. Trying to get something happening. Puck trickles across the red line. And North's able to control, though. North's going to change up real quick. Puck is into the Quincy zone. It's kind of sitting there to the right of Bo Craig. And in center, centering the pass, no good, though. Shot was controlled by Craig. Looked like Pat Casper had a nice opportunity, uh, but the shot was blocked before it could get to Craig. Another shot there by North goes wide of the net. So North's putting some pressure on right here. 4.35 left in the period. Craig lost his stick momentarily, but was able to get it back. In front of the net, the puck goes. Nice save there by Bo Craig to prevent another goal. Wide open net. He threw his stick up, though, and was able to uh, block it. So North, excuse me, Quincy finally clears the zone to get some, release some pressure, but North dumps it right back in. All alone there is Andrew Donovan. Puck is in front of the net, and up to Haskins. He dumps it back in, and again right in front of Craig. Lots of pressure. Quincy's trying to get some relief there. Shot by Haskins is no good. Along the boards, fighting for the puck, and it finally goes across the blue line, and Quincy clears. Three forty now left here in the second period. North Quincy coming across the line. Paul Graham has it, puts a shot on goal, and it has going to be blocked. So nice job here by North Quincy, Jim, here in the second period, putting a lot of pressure here on Bo Craig, the Quincy High School goalie. And he's coming up with some big saves, but he just couldn't stop that other shot, that the slap shot there from the corner by McKean. All right, uh, North is, is again picking it up. They've got a man in front of the net now, which uh, they were missing in the first period. A lot of pucks cross the crease with nobody around to, to tip it in. All right, faceoff will be to the right of Craig. And Quincy controls. Puck stays in the zone, though. And Quincy finally is able to dump it out. And it goes all the way down now to the north zone. Controlled there by Kenny Patey. Patey goes around the net. And is able to clear it out. North now driving down that. McKean has it. And he tries to dump it in. And just goes behind the net, though. He's trying to find in front of the net Paul Graham. Uh, North, Quincy's able to clear. Coming across the ice now is Giordani. Giordani's unable to make anything happen. Puck in the corner. And Quincy is able to keep it in, but nothing's in front of the net. Nice check there by Quincy High School's Mike Leone. All 
All right, puck is still at center ice, and Quincy's trying to dump it in, and it just does trickle in. North clears, clears quickly, though. North driving cross, shot on goal, and it's no good. Looked like putting a shot there was Andrew Donovan. All right, puck crosses center ice, and it's going to go into the north zone. North coming back up the ice. And icing gets waved off there. All the way down to the Quincy zone behind the net. North now has it in the corner. Casper in the corner for North. And he's unable to make it happen. Clear by Quincy. Quincy now comes down the other way. And it's a 2 on one But bringing it in and no good. It looks like it was shot there by McKean. And he just couldn't get it in. And net comes off the moorings. And a little extracurricular activities going on in there as well. Now both teams have, are playing very physical again and you saw that in the end of that play. Uh, they're really going in and hot at, at these now. 140 now left here in the second period. Again north on top, 1-0. Uh, the goal there by number 15, Josh McKean for the Red Raiders. All right, puck is now to the right of Sorrento. Quincy controls it. And centering pass is no good by Giordani. He had no one in front of the net to control it. All right, puck goes now into the zone for against Quincy. And cleared quickly there by Giordani. Excuse me, that was uh, McPherson who cleared the puck out. All right, Giordani now has it centerized for the presence. And goes back in. It was pushed in there by Tufo. Cleared out of the zone by Graham. And he's looking up for Tufo as well. Now Maggio now comes in and he's unable to do anything. He was checked there by Jonathan Conso for the presidents. Puck comes up and just goes out of the ice. And a little hard hitting action going on there in front of us. It looked like a little frustration there. Uh, by the presidents, having them get too much going on there in the North Quincy zone, and so a little frustration happened right there. Uh, I think they're really in, in need of a, a score here. They'd like to go in tied up one to one. Uh, obviously, they're they're happy to be this close to them right now, but I think it'd be very important for them to be able to go in tied. All right, face off is controlled by North. Behind the zone goes North Quincy is Kenny Patey. And he's going to rush up the ice. He has a man up there who's going to looking for Fitzpatrick. Patey's just going to keep it, though. And he is checked there by the Presidents. And the Presidents are able to clear. Coming down the ice was McKean. Giordani putting some pressure there on Patey. And Patey's able to clear. Up the ice, the puck now goes to Fitzpatrick. And he comes across the blue line where he is checked there by Ray Marchand. All right, Puck now comes down the other way. Giordani's chasing it for the Presidents. And getting it out there is Patey for the Red Raiders to get it clear the zone. Excuse me, that was Clark, excuse me, John Clark cleared it out. Well, that's the end of the period, actually. And with the score is now one to nothing. And at 7.41 of the second period, Josh McKean uh, scored a goal for the North Quincy High School Red Raiders. Uh, excuse me, Matt Haskins. McKean had the assist. Excuse me. Um, so Haskins had the goal there. Uh, was giving credit there to the wrong person for a little while there. So Haskins had it. He had a nice slap shot there uh, from the corner by the blue line. Uh, North put came out early. Excuse me, Quincy came out early and put some pressure on. Uh, Giordani came in off the opening faceoff into the north zone. Uh, created a penalty, but North, excuse me, Quincy could not get any shots off on the power play. Uh, nice defense there by the Red Raiders to prevent any shots. Uh, North then came back. They had their own power play just as the power play expired. Uh, one second after that, Haskins came up with a big shot and scored the goal, and that's where we stand right now. Uh, so a lot more action here in the second period than we saw in the first, Jim. Right. I think, I think both offenses, is, offenses have stepped up. Uh, they've, they've been going into the corners a lot harder. They've been trying to fight for position in front of the net. I think you'll find that they'll continue to do that going into this next period. And obviously, it's, it's a one-goal game right now. Uh, North would probably like to see it a little bit. They wish they had that other goal <laughs> back, but 
you know, you can't be too disappointed if you're Quincy. They've been playing well, and if they have a couple of good opportunities uh, coming in this next period, they should be able to tie it up. All right, well, we stand one nothing right now with Red Raiders on top. We'll be back with third period action right after this. Welcome back to the Quincy Youth Arena for QA TV's coverage of Quincy High School and North Quincy High School hockey. My name is Jonathan Clary, being joined by Jim Mullaney. And Jim, uh, we saw a goal finally in the second period there. North Quincy got on the board. And um, what do we think we're going to see here early in the third period with Quincy trailing by one? Again, I think you're going to see them step up on the offensive ends, uh, really going into the corners after that puck, try and get position in front of the net, uh, take those shots, try and make something happen. Defensive have been playing great for both teams, uh, which has been making it difficult for the offensive to get going. But uh, Quincy, I think, will be really gunning, out, gunning on this one. They really want to make up that one goal deficit now. All right, getting ready for the faceoff here, and Quincy controls the puck. Back down deep into the Quincy zone. North chases. And North's able to keep it in, and a shot there by Haskins. He goes wider than that. Right, Quincy's able to clear the zone, and Quincy's unable to do anything, though, as they dump it in. North clears, and the stick goes flying in the air there. North comes down, rushing in, and put a shot on goal there. Uh, number seven there, Nash Winters put the shot on goal, but it was saved there by Bo Craig. So right off the bat, North gets another quick shot on goal. Uh, in that category, that was North's 16th shot of the night to seven for Quincy. And then the, the shot selections become much better. They've been making much harder shots at it. Uh, not so much they're just dumping it in from the, when they cross the red line. All right, another shot there by North Quincy and saved by Craig. So North still putting pressure on. Quincy comes down, rushes in, and McKean is unable to control. Lost it through his skates. Quincy keeps it in, and they dump it back in. It was dumped in there by Ed Lara. All right, North now has control behind the net. They throw it up, and they're able to clear it, so Quincy will be forced to clear. Just shot that back in there by McKean. Along the side of the boards there, and now into the corner. And the puck goes now behind the net. Patey will go get it for North Quincy. Unable to clear is North Quincy. Uh, Andrew Donovan looked like he was trying to clear it, but he couldn't get a stick on it. Coming around now for Quincy High School is McKean, and he's unable to get a shot onto net. Right, North now comes down the net with a three on two rush, and broken up there at center ice was Andrew Donovan. Quincy's going to change quickly. We're at 3.15 now, left here in the game. Or 13.15, excuse me, in the game. North now comes back down there by Paul Graham. He throws it into the net, and another shot on goal there by Pat Casper. North still controls, and it is broken up there by McPherson. And McPherson will take the puck now behind the net. Graham there behind him as well. Graham is trying to throw it in front of the net, but he wasn't able to do so. Graham still gets it back now, and he has it between his legs, and he puts a shot on goal there, and he looked like he just missed a goal. Uh, he's kind of wrapped it around there, and it looked like it hit Bo Craig's leg uh, for the save. Now, Bo's been having a great game. It's the, the, uh, the goal that he did let up, he was screened entirely on that shot, so everything he's seen, he's stopped. All right, faceoff open to the right of Craig now. All right, and Quincy controls it, and they're unable to clear right away. Actually, was, yep, unable to clear it in. And in front of the net, another shot on goal there for North. 
continue to pressure he Craig here early in the third period. Two full with that shot. All right, back down the other end now. Conley for Quincy High and put, put a shot on goal there. It was number 12, Ted Walsh. All right, center ice now. Quincy trying to bring it back up. Walsh now has it, and he throws it in. And saved, or unable to clear. It was Noah Giudani put his hand up and was able to bring it back down. All right, North now throw it the other way. And Paul Graham was trying to get something going there, but unable to do so. Giudani falls down, gets back up, nice stick handling, and he's going to dump it in. Puck down the other end. Shot taken, and it's deflected before it can get down to Toronto. Big check there in the corner, and Quincy's able to, uh, excuse me, North Quincy's able to clear the puck. Right back, though, is Quincy. Ted Walsh dumps it back in, cleared by North now. All right, puck is at center ice. Both teams just trying to find some momentum right now. Quincy brings it up, Ed Lara has it, dumps it off, and a shot on goal, and no good, though. It was saved by Sorrento. Looks like the shot was put on there by Leone. All right, Puck now in the corner. Up to the top there, Ed Lara, and it looked like Ed Lara was going to try for a one-timer, but was unable to get a stick down and get uh, any wood on it. All right, Conso brings it up now for Quincy. Quincy trying to get something going here in the third period. 10.50 now left. Graham comes in, another shot on goal, and is saved by Craig. Graham walked in alone all that by that time, had no Quincy defenders around him. All right, Puck now at center ice, and it's dumped down again behind the Quincy goal by North. Kept in by Maggio, and unable to get his shot off. Tufo now has it. And Puck gets loose, and going up the ice now is Conley for Quincy, and he gets checked at the blue line, so he's not able to make anything happen. Giordani takes a slap shot, and it is saved there. So a nice shot there by Giordani, but it was saved by Sorrento. 10.08 now left here in the game. North still on top by one. Right, both teams are changing up here for the faceoff, and the faceoff will be to the right of Sorrento. Puck is to the right of Sorrento. Canavan is unable to clear the puck, and look like maybe have a penalty here, and no, no penalty. Getting tripped up there was Canavan. And I like he was trying to go down ice, but he got tripped up there. All right, big shot on goal there by Ray Marchand, but it's saved by Sorrento. Kyle Craig has it, and he's just going to dump it in. Another shot there by Quincy High School, and that looked like it was Marchand again, but it went wide of the net. Behind the net now is Ferris for North Quincy, and he clears it up. And Quincy's just going to dump it right back in from center ice. Both teams change up quickly. Around the puck that goes, and it just gets across the blue line. North now coming down to center ice. McKean has it with a man in the middle, and it's deflected off the boards. All right, McKean now has again. He comes in broken up there by Quincy High School. McKean had a wide open shot there, but it looked like it got broken up there by Mike Leone. Back down the other end, Quincy in the boards, and North clears it. And possible rush opportunity, but North unable to capitalize on it. Couldn't get the stick down on the ice. And Puck goes in front of the net. Quincy can't get a shot off. Right, North now comes down the other ice. And again, another opportunity there for Jimmy Fitzpatrick, but Puck got broken up by Quincy at the last second. All right, Puck's going to go all the way down now, and we're going to have an icing. So 8.06 now left here in the game. 
And North Quincy on top by a score of one to nothing. A uh, lot more shots here early in the third period. North has a quick six shots and Quincy has seven. Face off to the left of Sorrento now. And puck gets tied up, but it's finally cleared. Kyle Craig clears it back out for Quincy High School. He was being chased there by Maggio. And the puck goes back into the Quincy zone. Conso will take it. And he's unable to fans on the pass and stays into the zone. Conso comes back down, makes a nice big day check there on Tufo. Conso and Tufo battling for the puck, and Tufo unable to get it. Graham has it. He's in the nice. He walks in, and another shot there by Graham. Saved there by another shot there, excuse me. Uh, two shots, another shot almost there. Went across the ice there for Tufo. He was looking for a centering pass and just couldn't get across. But a big shot there by Paul Graham. He walked into the middle of the ice and saved by Craig. They got three dice opportunities there. And again, now the pressure's starting to come on. They both came out hard. Uh, a couple of missed opportunities, a little bit of mishandling of the puck. Uh, for a while there in this period, and now they're right back at it again. All right, Quincy had iced the puck there to relieve the pressure, so the faceoff will be to the right now of Craig, and Quincy controls. Donovan has it, and passes off to Fitzpatrick in front of the ice, and the puck's just kind of loose, battling for the puck right in front of Craig, and North comes out with it, and they're going to bring it back out. Fitzpatrick had it go off his skate and couldn't get a shot off. Quincy's able to clear it up there. Gilbody was looking for somebody up ice, but couldn't find anyone. Coming back down now is Harrington, and he's unable to get a shot off net as well. Coming back down the other way now is Quincy. McPherson dumps it in, and he and Gilbody will chase. Gilbody has it behind the net, and it's right behind the net now. McPherson four checks. And North's going to dump it out. And they're going to try to change. And they do. All right, puck is in center right there. North's trying to get it into the, across the blue line, and they do. Quincy's forced to play it. Conso has it. Pass it across ice. Up to Leone, and Le Leone finds up Ted Walsh up ice. Walsh dumps up to Gio down. He takes a shot and hits the side of the net. Nice shot there by Giordani, though. Some of the fans jumped up. They thought it went in, but it just hit the side of the net. Might have got deflected at the last second, but uh, I think Frank Sorrento, the goalie for North Quincy High School, had a nice eye on it and was able to put a cover on it. Um, so no goal there. Six minutes now left here in the third period. North on top by one. Action's been fast-paced here in this final period of the game. North rushing up the ice. And they're able to keep it in. Actually, no, unable to keep it in. I'm sorry, at the last second there, coming in for Quincy High School was Conley to break it up. North does dump, dump it back in, though. Quincy now has the puck. And nice pass there from Giordani, but Conley didn't see it behind him. Giordani has it now, going up ice. And it is broken up there. Puck stays in the zone, though. Ted Walsh goes further into the, behind the net, dumps it back off now for Conley. Conley throws it into the front of the net, and Sorrento pokes it out. And we're going to have an icing call here. North wanted to get the puck out of there. Quincy had some nice pressure there uh, with 5.07 left here in the game. And a couple times, Sorrento was forced to poke it out and make sure the puck was not in anywhere in his zone. Again, Quincy getting a little bit more aggressive down at the other end of the ice, uh, something that they just really have to do. About five minutes left, looking for a goal to tie this one up. All right, face off with the left of Sorrento now. And it's controlled by Quincy. McPherson dumps it into the zone. And the puck is now behind the net. Trickles out into the corner. And Quincy's just able to keep it in. It was poked in there at the last second there by McKean. McKean now has it and still stays in and now is cleared there by North Quincy High School's Donovan.
North. Has the puck in their own zone, being chased there now by Patey. And Patey clears it out, up the ice. Being pursued so now, we're gonna have a penalty, uh, no, no penalty play, and oh. a goal! Looked like that was number 21, Andrew Donovan, for North Quincy High School, and that puts them up on top by a score of two to nothing. Shows some real hustle getting down there after the puck. Uh, Bo Craig came out, he thought he could get to it in time, but uh, the pursuit was so hard that uh, he wound up out of position on that play. Uh, North is gonna be very happy about that. A two goal lead is, tr is really a big lead in this game, the way they've been playing so tightly. Yeah, Donovan was hustling down the ice, uh, trying to just make something happen, and due to his hustle, uh, as you said, Craig was forced to come out of the net and play it. And Donovan caught the puck, it trickled past Craig, and with a wide open net, Donovan has shot it in. All right, Noah comes right back down again, and is broken up there by Leone. Cross ice pass now to Conley. Conley comes up across the blue line, and he puts a shot on goal. But it is no good, just wide of the net. All right, North now comes across. And kind of looking for the puck. It's right behind everybody. Still battling for puck. There's Leone. Maggio's in there as well. Winters trying to make something happen for North. Unable to do so. Puck clears for Quincy. Coming down nice now is Giordani. All alone, and he's unable to get a shot off. Nice job there by Matt Haskins to lift his stick at the last second and clear the puck away. Save there by Sorrento and big pressure there by Quincy High School. Yeah, they're not ready to give up. They came in really hard and had a couple good opportunities there. Like you said, if it wasn't for Haskins' play on that, uh, could be looking at a two to one game right now. Nice shot by Giordani. He was protecting the puck nicely with his body, but at the last second he had to come in and get into shooting position and Haskins just lifted the stick up and unable to get a shot off there was Giordani. At 3.24 now left here in the game. And puck in front of the net. Gilbody has it, and he dumps it in and is forced to be saved there by North Quincy High School Sorrento. Again, Quincy keeping the pressure on, trying to even up the, uh, the uh, game here. They've just about caught up to North Quincy, I think, in the shots that they've taken so far. And they've been nice shots, too. Face off to the left of Sorrento now, 316, as you saw on the screen. Puck is in the corner. And a big hit there by North Quincy. And coming across now for North Quincy is McKean. He puts it in front, but he couldn't find uh, Pat Casper. All right, Puck goes in front of the net, and Craig just kind of knocks it out of his area. It's still in the Quincy zone, and Quincy is finally able to dump it out. Guilt body pursuing, and North is going to dump it back in. They want to get a change. And we'll have an icing call actually here with 2.40 left here in the third period. North on top by a score of two to nothing. While we have a break in action, we want to remind all our viewers, log on to Quincy Access TV's website, www.qatv.org. That's qatv.org for membership information, program schedules, and much more. So log on to our website and see when this hockey game will be replayed. All right, North controls the faceoff and bring up center vice, but it's broken up there nicely by Quincy High School's Conley. And shot on goal, but a save there by Sorrento. So Quincy putting a lot of pressure on here with just over two minutes now left in the game. Conley has the puck and he brings it across the blue line. Pushing across now is Walsh and broken up there by North. Conso has it, and he brings it into the zone for Quincy High School. Not too much is happening right now, just trying to find something, and finally it's cleared out of the zone. McKean brings it back all the way into the Quincy area. All right, Quincy's gonna clear it up, looking for Conley, and he has it going on the right boards. And he brings it in, and North is able to clear right away though. 140 now left here in the game, and we have a whistle. And it's just an offsides here. Yep. Changing up. 
Oakland, you'll really have to find some way to make something happen here in this last minute, 41 seconds. They've played a great game, uh, as has North, obviously. All right, and we're going to have a timeout. Quincy's going to call a timeout. Coach Bob Sylvie's going to want to discuss a few options that they have here. Quincy has also pulled the goalie. Uh, so they're going to try to get some more, an extra man on the ice here and get an extra goal, or quick goal, excuse me, uh, with 141 left in the game. Well, the faceoff on the other side of the uh, red line helps them out. And, uh, obviously, they need to keep the pressure on that end. The extra man will give them that opportunity. All right, Quincy has had a nice period here. Uh, they've had a lot of shots on goal. They have nine shots on goal here in this period. However, they haven't been able to beat the junior goalie for North Quincy High School, Frank Sorrento. On the other side, though, uh, Bo Craig has had a great game. Uh, the first goal he let up, uh, he was screened, and he had no chance on it. Second goal as well, he had a tough decision whether to come out and meet the puck or let um, uh, Andrew Donovan come to him. He chose to come out and meet the puck and just couldn't control it and Donovan was able to skate past him and get a goal after a uh, nice play by him. So both goalies have had excellent games here tonight. Uh, the puck has just kind of trickled past Craig though, unfortunately. All right, so Quincy has pulled the goalie and they have an extra man on the ice. They do control the faceoff and it goes into North's zone. Quincy still controls. Looking for her to get a shot and puck was shot there, but it didn't get to Sorrento. Quincy keeps it in the zone, and some pressure down the other end, and Sorrento saves. So another shot by Quincy High School, putting a lot of pressure on. 122 now left in the game. All right, the faceoff is going to be to the right of Sorrento now. And shot from the corner, and another save by Sorrento. Big shot there by Giannotti in front of that. Another save by Sorrento. Looked like there was a shot there uh, by number 17, McKean. All right, North finally clears it. They do have a wide open net. We'll see if they can get anything off, and they do, but Giannotti is able to stop it. He clears it back up under a minute now, 55 seconds to play. And North dumps it back out again. And we'll have an icing call here. So the puck will come back down the other way. Gives Quincy one more chance at this. Uh, with the goalie pulled, they've been really able to keep the pressure on Sorrento. Uh, but he's been coming up with some great saves. All right, the faceoff now will be to the left of Sorrento this time. Gino Dione is going to take the faceoff for Quincy. Giannotti does control, but North is able to steal it away. And Quincy comes right back, trying to make sure they don't have any shots on their empty net. Giannotti has it at center ice, and it's deflected by Maggio. Maggio is going to try to dump it in, and he can't calmly prevent him from doing that. Coming out is McPherson now, and in center ice for Quincy was number 12, Ted Walsh. He couldn't get a shot off, though. 20 seconds now left to go in the game. Quincy still putting pressure on in the North Quincy zone, though. Another shot on Sorrento, but another save. And things are getting a little heated down the other end. A little frustration on Quincy's part. So as you said, frustration is setting in. Uh, Sorrento has come up big here in the last minute of the game. Uh, Quincy put a quick four shots on goal, but he has saved them all. Uh, and they come kind of one after another as well. All right, 16 seconds now left to go in the game. Again, Gene Dyer takes the face off and wins. North has the puck though, coming down the ice, and they're gonna get an open net goal here. And that is number 11, Paul Graham, with seven seconds to go left here in the game. Well, Quincy's got to be very disappointed about this. They've played a really good game. Uh, obviously, they wanted to uh, come in here with a win, tie up the series between the two teams. North Quincy, like we uh, mentioned at the beginning of this game, over 500 now with this victory, looking a whole lot better in the ACL. 
All right, so with that goal, North Quincy is going to improve to 7-6-2 on the season, and Quincy will fall to 1-13-1. There is seven seconds left here to go. North does control the faceoff, and then it's going to let the clock run out. And that is the game. So Quincy comes out, and with a valiant effort, they're just unable to put any goals in the net. And Quincy has three goals, and they're going to come out on top of the win here tonight at the Quincy Youth Arena. Uh, so an excellent effort on both sides, as we said. Uh, Bo Craig put in a great effort there for the Quincy High School presidents, uh, but he was matched shot for shot by Frank Sorrento for North Quincy High School. Uh, real quick, a recap of the game here. Uh, in the second period, excuse me, in the first period, North had a couple of shots on goal. One big shot was by Paul Graham. Uh, he came into the crease, and the goal was disallowed, though. Uh, so that took the goal off the board. That was the end of the shots there and the end of the period. Coming into the second period, it was 7.41 left to go. Matt Haskins took a slap shot from the corner and scored uh, off a couple of nice screens. Got by Craig to make the score 1-0. In the third period, at 4.23 left to go, uh, Andrew Donovan put in the second goal of the night for North Quincy High School. And with seven seconds to go with an empty net, Paul Graham put it in. Uh, to make the final score three to nothing. Um, shots on goal were pretty even. It was 21 to 24 uh, in favor of North Quincy. Uh, so Jim, a great game here tonight at Quincy Youth Arena with North coming on the top. It was, uh, you know, it's, it's a shame that uh, one of these teams, obviously both being the Quincy teams has to lose. Uh, obviously they tried hard. Uh, they were really looking forward for winning this game and North just had a little bit too much uh, for them at the end of this game. Said Bo Craig played fantastic. Uh, just the one, the one goal uh, when he came out to try and make uh, the play on the puck, but uh, not being so aggressive to chase after that puck really, really helped it out. All right. So as we mentioned, three nothing is the final here at the arena. Real quick, we want to thank all of our crew for coming out here tonight and doing a great job here to bring this game to you. Uh, on camera tonight, we have Peter Lido and Tim Gardner. Our uh, graphics tonight was done by Liz Clancy. Our engineer was Chris Potter. And directing tonight, we have Bill Early. So again, the final score is 3 nothing from the Quincy Youth Arena. From Jim Mullaney, my name is John Caleri. We thank you for watching QA TV Sports here tonight.